Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells below, and today, let's get right into it. So in the month of October of last year, 2021, I did go ahead and I went to Hollow Weekends at Cedar Point, which is pretty much like Six Flags, but it's a big amusement park with a lot of rides. So let's go ahead, go there, and see what they have to offer for Hollow Weekends. Okay, so we are now on the way to Cedar Point in Ohio, and it's really exciting. I haven't been here since I was a kid, and we can see a beautiful rainbow straight ahead. Now that we are right outside the theme park, you can see that it is very, very Charlie Brown oriented. Even like all year around, it's very Charlie Brown themed, so we're going to see a lot of Snoopy and a lot of Charlie Brown characters. And right now we are on the way inside of the actual theme park. We can see the Hollow Weekend sign and all the cute little pumpkins up top. And now we are inside where we can see this cute skeleton next to the Sealer Point sign for the 150th year anniversary. Another cute view of the Hollow Weekend sign. And now here I am in the middle just, you know, checking out like the view and how it looks from the inside. We can see a beautiful French Quarter restaurant which we will be going to later. Walking throughout we're going to see a lot of cool Halloween decorations and cute in this cute skeleton. And then we have a bunch of his friends over here which is also really cute. Definitely a lot of decorations in this theme park. Continuing to walk, and oh, there's my friend Heaven. Hi, Heaven. Walking up to one of the very first rides, we did end up seeing this guy, which pointed at me. Outside the first ride, we do see this cute little house that says Magical House on Boo Hill. And here's the actual roller coaster that these people are crazy enough to go on. And this is the next roller coaster my friends are about to go on. Absolutely insane. And you can see, oh, there they go. So while my friends are on the ride, I'm going to be walking around the theme park. I'm going to be doing some shopping and seeing like what this entire Cedar Point Park has to offer. And straight ahead, once we're in the middle, we can zoom in and we can see the super cute Cedar Point Tower. So that's really cool. And now we're in the common areas, so we're going to look at all of the cool Halloween decorations. And the skeletons right here to like the right, these are absolutely so cool. They're definitely my favorite decoration. I honestly really, really love these guys. So now we have this giant guy who does end up moving around. He wakes up, he ends up talking to you. Really cool animatronic. Looking out ahead, you can see the beautiful Ferris wheel, and it honestly is really gorgeous to me, especially the way it lights up. Now when you're at the top of the ferris wheel, you will get a beautiful view of all of the water. However, I never made my way up there because I am terrified of heights, but it is a really beautiful shot. More decorations, which I found so cute. I really loved the purple with the pumpkins. I thought it was really cute. And there was a super cute trailer as well. I thought the colors were really cute. Okay, so now we are in the arcade, which is really cool. They had so much to do in this arcade. I honestly had a lot of fun and I really loved it. I didn't win anything, I'm never really good at winning anything, but they did have a lot of cute options. They did have this cute little purple guy in the middle, and all of these like cute little round stuff. I kind of like the panda next to him as well. They do have Flappy Bird you can play along with a lot of other games. Bowling of course, which I am actually really good at bowling. Kind of surprising, but I used to bowl a lot when I was younger. Of course we have the Wheel of Fortune as well, always a good game to play. So I'm now on the way back, headed to my friends, but the ride in the back, now that's a ride I could go on. So now my friends are at one of the most craziest rides, and I can't pronounce the name of it, but I will have it up on screen. But this one is so crazy because you go so high up, and then when you get to the very, very top, you do end up taking like the most craziest dip down, and I absolutely cannot. I don't know how they do it, but they are so crazy. Okay, so now let's take another look at it. You will see one of my friends wave. They're in like the middle of the cart. And oh my goodness, I could never. <laughs> Only at Cedar Point. So while they are riding that, I am over here chilling in the pumpkin patch with all of the pumpkins and the trees. Very relaxing and it's a nice spot. So right now I'm at Halloween weekend. It's the last night for the, you know, the Halloween of it. Um, it's very nice here. I like it. I don't like roller coasters, so I am the bad hater. 
So now I'm going to be doing what I do best, which is shopping. And Point Plaza had a lot of good stuff. So I was captured by a couple Hocus Pocus stuff that was in this window. And now we're going to go ahead and stroll in and take a look at what they have to offer. So walking in, they did have this really cute witch display up here. And that was really cute. They had like all of these cute pumpkins on the tie-dye t-shirts. This witch is like really cute. They have a lot of Hocus Pocus t-shirts, which is really cool because definitely one of my favorite childhood movies. Straight ahead, we can see a lot of t-shirts that are tie-dye with pumpkins on it. I did go ahead and I did get my mom an orange one with the pumpkin on it. Walking over here, I did see a shirt that I actually really did like, this black cedar point shirt. However, I totally feel like I should have got this sweatshirt too, the gray one. The gray one, I actually would wear this and I did wish I bought that. They have more options here if you would like a haunt t-shirt as well. The Halloween haunt section is where you go and like people jump out and scare at you. We will be going to that part of the theme park later on. And we have all of these cute gray hoodies, which I thought was really cute. I was going to get one, but they do have a giant picture on the back of it. So I didn't get it, but they do have all of these as well. Very rainbow friendly. They have a lot of items with rainbows on it. It's a very, very like friendly place. I can definitely say that. And then straight ahead, you know, we can see a toy section. It is Halloween, so of course all of the toys are Halloween related. Okay, so now we are at the only ride that I actually did go on. And this one, I really thought I could do it. I used to do this one when I was little, but I got so sick on it that the lady behind me was actually like yelling brakes because I was literally about to puke over all of my friends. And it was really embarrassing. I had my head dug in my friend's shoulder and I was saying that like I could not breathe, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. Such a horrible experience. I will never go on the ride again, even if it's this cute little pirate one. Horrible experience, never again. Okay, so now we are back at the French Quarter to have some dinner. So right now I did just have some pizza and that was really good. We did get some um, clothing, which was really fun. I got that right here. I'm very excited to, you know, show you guys all what I got and like the souvenirs and stuff like that. Um, you know, okay, the pizza was like, eh, alright, it wasn't like the best pizza by any means, but, um, yeah. Now I'm off to continue to hold some bags and do some shopping, and, you know, that's it. So we finally made our way to the Snoopy Boutique, and I was really excited about this, because again, you can see the whole Charlie Brown gang is here, super cute, and I do love Snoopy, especially my mother, she adores Snoopy, so this was like a really big thing for her. Um, I did get her like a bunch of cute stuff in here, we can see that there are cute stuffed animals with like a Cedar Point hoodie, a bunch of tie-dye items as well, and definitely so much cute stuff. Um, if I was more of a fan of tie-dye, this hoodie would have been really, really cute. I probably would have got that, but I am more of like a stuffed animal guy. I did get my mom the Lucy hat that's right here on the left, and she did love that hat. So we do have a giant selection here, not even of clothing, but again, more stuffed animals. I think that Snoopy was dressed up as a turkey, which was really cute for Thanksgiving. This Snoopy right here, I really did like it. If the hoodie came in black, I would have gotten one of these, but I did get my mom quite a few things from here. She was definitely really happy when I came back from this trip. So that was definitely really cute and a cute fact that I definitely love. Okay, so over here we do have a Charlie Brown section, which is really cute. I do wish that I did get the stuffed animal up top of him. I did think that was cute. But, you know, coming down here, we do have like a couple shirts. I almost got a couple shirts and jerseys like for my mom, but I am glad I didn't because I did get her a lot of other stuff. We do got a giant Snoopy and Woodstock up here, which is cool. And now we're going to go ahead, head outside to Camp Snoopy. And Camp Snoopy is just like, again, like a little section for Snoopy. We see the cute little dude right there in the center. I'm going to go ahead and stand next to him and say hello. I think he's like super cute. You know, definitely love Snoopy. And last but not least, we do have the Great Pumpkin. And the sign for the Great Pumpkin I thought was really cute. So now we're going to be going ahead and checking out more rides. It did start to get a little windy here, but the scenery I just thought was so beautiful at night. It was so relaxing. We did have some more decorations. We have this giant pumpkin head right here, and then this cute little cat, which I thought was super cute. We got some more pumpkins with all different kinds of faces. There was this giant boo, and I really did want to win this boo. However, nobody would win him for me, so that was really sad because I did really want him. So now about to reach the bungee ride, and the bungee ride, I really used to love this when I was a kid. Nowadays, I honestly don't think that I could handle it. Looking at it like up close, 
I think it's just way too high up for me, so definitely a pass for me. So now we're at the crossroads, and we're gonna go ahead and cross into the haunt section where people actually jump out and, you know, scare you. So we're now here. It is so dark, and it, we honestly cannot see a thing, especially when the fog machines start happening. We honestly couldn't see one thing, so I was kind of like really nervous and scared to walk through here. I think right over there was the. Hey! So now my friends are at Steel Vengeance, definitely one of the top rides that they do have at this theme park. However, you know, again for me, I'll definitely pass, but they have a great time on the ride. Again at the ferris wheel, this looks so, so beautiful at night. I love the purple colors and the little spirals. We're now at the gatekeeper and this is the last ride of the night. It did start to rain, so they did start to close the rides. However, this ride was the last one to close. So while my friends go on that, I'm gonna go ahead, just hang out over here. I did a couple things. I was prepared because I did know ahead of time, so I did have an umbrella. With the rain and the few, it definitely looked like very like doomsday vibes. It was all like red coloring, especially with the Ferris wheel being lit up red. It was definitely a moment and a vibe. And that is it for the 150 year anniversary of Sealer Point. It was really fun. I'm really happy to be back, especially for Hollow Weekends. It was definitely such a great time, and I love all of the Halloween decorations. Definitely a great time here at Sealer Point, and I would love to come back one day. Okay, and here are a few outfits that I did get while at Sealer Point. There is this really cute Sealer Point shirt that says Hollow Weekends. Sorry for the wrinkles, I did have it thrown in my bag on the way here but it is really cute. I did also get the Sealer Point shirt that's simple and black, really cute. This one is a size medium, and I'm actually going to be selling this one pretty soon, so if you would like it, drop a comment down below. However, I did get it in a large as well, and I'm definitely keeping the large. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. I do have a lot of videos coming on luxury fashion, so stay tuned for that, and have a great day. Au revoir.